Today I worked out like a Gryffindor and by that I mean I had no idea what I was getting into and somehow muddled through it and came out alive. Okay, short update since I have been neglecting vlogging a little. I don't know. I, I'm not sick anymore. I feel fine, but even so, this weekend I didn't get nearly anything done. Usually I make a giant to-do list and on at least one of the days I spend the day just kind of checking that off and that involves cleaning the house, um, doing any like little projects I need to do, meal planning, grocery shopping, meal prepping, all that stuff, and all my YouTube stuff because that's the only time I have to get it done. That involves shooting, editing, etc. And it was, I decided to take Saturday, just kind of relax a little. And so my productivity day was supposed to be Sunday, but I never got around to shooting anything, which might be a problem in two weeks when we come out. But I'm sure I will find a time to do that. Um, yeah, I got less than half the things done planning on for no apparent reason other than I'm either lazy or I just wasn't feeling it so I got the essentials done I mean I got grocery shopped and meal prepped and all that stuff and I got to a reasonable level of clean within my house I skipped a few things but it hopefully that is not a omen for how the rest of the week will go hopefully I just needed a little bit of extra rest and now that it's Monday, it'll be smooth sailing and I'll be able to get back on it and get stuff done. By the way, Jamie's baby shower was yesterday and she sent me pictures of all the decor that I made and everything like that. And people came and she had a real nice time. So that was lovely. And I wish I could have been there, but uh, it's, you know, California and I'm in Arkansas. Maybe when I am debt free, <laughs> I will be able to go to like her next baby shower or something like that. So anyway, so it has been pointed out to me in the comments that what I probably had instead of a cold, which I kept referring to my week and a half longish illness, uh, was probably a flu. <laughs> and I would say that's probably entirely accurate. And I just didn't want to let myself realize that I had a flu despite having all the symptoms. I guess in my head, I often am a big old fat liar to myself and I'm like, you can get over this. You can push through this. It's just a cold. It's just a cold. Whereas if I had admitted to myself that I had the flu, I might have actually had to slow down <laughs> and like really take care of myself or actually allow myself to have a break, which would have been healthy, I guess. And I did kind of do that, but in my head, in my head, I guess I just really wanted it to be a cold so I could get over it quickly and get back to my life. Um, does anyone else ever do that? Just like completely lie to yourself about something like that. It, um, cause yeah, it's like, I probably had the flu. I'm pretty sure I had the flu. Um, and was just calling it a cold. <laughs> Rory, are you ready to go for a walk? Roro, you ready? You ready? Is you ready for a walk? Did you go to go walk? What if I get... What if I get your leash? You want <laughs> Okay, we're going. We're going! <laughs> Today is a pretty good day. I got almost everything I needed to get done during the day. I had an excellent workout at my Zuma class. I think I'm finally over this hook. Um, I was coughing just a little bit, but I feel good. Like I could get through all the routines and everything like that, which I felt was a pretty good, which I feel like is a pretty good measure of how well I'm feel feeling is if I can like do all the jumps and do all the kicks and keep up during class and I could keep up during class probably like 95% of the time which is about as good as it ever gets to tell you the truth because my Zuma instructor is a beast um, so now I'm home I am going to let Rory out for a second and then I'm going to make tacos for dinner which I have been looking forward to all So 
I went home after work to change into my Zumba clothes and today I am wearing an old pig fest shirt because I'm out of other workout shirts and so these are pretty comfortable to work out in. It's soft cotton. It's just really like to the eye especially after I've been working all night. So <laughs> um, and when I got home I noticed that Rory had completely unmade my bed as in all the covers were at the foot of the bed she had apparently and I've seen her try to do this before she'll like try to get under the covers because I am a horrible dog mom and when Rory was a puppy one time I was like want to get under the covers and cuddle with me and she loved it and now every single night she cries until I let her under the covers with me and we snuggle under there and she lays her head on a pillow like a human um, like I said hashtag excellent not so excellent dog mom <laughs> um, but so sometimes when I'm gone she'll be like man I'll make the bed uh, and I want to be under the covers because I demand to be both on top of and under comfortable things because she's not spoiled at all not spoiled at all and <laughs> She had apparently like nosed it down and I've seen her do this before but not completely off the bed Like apparently she had just kept trying to get under it Kind of throughout the day and just gradually brought the covers all the way down She doesn't get that she can't lift the covers because she doesn't have the thumbs or like the skill with her little nose So she just ends up unmaking the bed So I can't even get mad at her she, I'll leave her home all day. It's kind of mean. Not that she doesn't have lots of toys to play with, and I always leave her treats and food, and she's got lots of pretty windows to look out of, and like she's she's fine. But yeah, she's mischievous, mischievous, <laughs> mischievous is how I always said it in my head when I was reading the word in books as kids. So yeah, that's that's what I came home to. She's bad. She's bad. That dog ate an entire chocolate orange once from under the Christmas tree. And that's when I learned not to um, let, to create a situation where something like that can happen. She was fine. She was perfectly fine. Chocolate didn't even give us squirts. But yeah, she, <laughs> she ate the entire thing. And before all of you people get on me, I obviously didn't give it to her. It was accidental, okay? It was in a wrapped, okay, it was wrapped in foil wrapped in a plastic form, wrapped in a cardboard box, wrapped in Christmas paper and bows, and she tore all of that out to eat the entire orange. Um, so yeah, there was that. <laughs> puppy life, puppy life. Oh, and I was watching a video by fellow YouTube channel Live Love Budget today, and she was showing her dog Apollo who looks just like Rory just like Rory I thought it was Rory on the screen for a second but he is her twin and he's so sweet he'll like jump up into their arms and everything and Rory will not do that she does not like being carried she likes being on all four, four paws on the ground but such a sweet dog I just want to go play with him I just want to go play with all your dogs all of them Taco, 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 it's taco, taco, yes, taco, taco, bad day, you get a taco, okay day, you get a taco, awesome day, you get a taco, maybe I eat too many tacos.